On the 18th of uh, September 2021, a meteorologist Robert Spetta still watching our tropical area towards the west of the Philippines, but separately we have Chansun now moving over Japan. Finally, after the storm impacted Guam, moved towards the east of Luzon, super typhoon over to the Batanas Islands and moved just towards the east of Taiwan, but now it is moving over Japan. Kind of interesting, it did make landfall here in Fukuoka the first time since 1951 we had a center of a storm make landfall in Fukuoka prefecture um kind of rare actually because typically when these systems come in they come in from the south not so much from the west as we've seen with this one since it lingered near shanghai for so long and finally when the jet stream picked it up the center moved in right like that but you know regardless that's just statistics it's all about the rainfall and you can see with those wind barbs that inflow coming in from the south kochi actually saw 400 millimeters of precip miyazaki at 381 and mie 306 in the past 48 hours all thanks to that inflow coming in from the south. Emergency level warnings were even issued due to this storm system in western areas of Honshu and also over towards Shikoku as well. All right, let's take a look at the track with our storm, though. And this is what I was talking about. See how it just kind of lingered here? Now look at the line as it wrapped around and came right on shore over Fukuoka. Typically, the centers move in like that, like that, or like that. It's very uncommon from the, almost coming from the northwest here. So thought that was absolutely interesting. Let's take a look at the forecast, though. It's going to move right by Tokyo. But by that point, just completely weakening out. Tokyo's gonna get some scattered showers with it. If we actually pull back the picture, uh, it's that next system actually kind of more interested in. That's gonna bring some uh, pretty gusty winds in from the south, some additional rainfall, and even could scoot in some dry, cold air back towards Mongolia and far eastern Russia, bringing some snowfall out there. Thought that was kind of interesting. Anyways, dry, cooler air is gonna spill in behind this across most of Japan, and that's gonna usher down the temperatures as well until our next system starts to work its way in from the west. As far as precip, still could be seeing those widespread scattered areas, especially in central Honshu, up and over 50 millimeters in total. There's that snowfall I was talking about, that cool air that's going to spill in behind it, all the way back to far eastern Russia. You might think, ooh, is this early? Is that out of season? Not really, but these tropical systems do help usher in some of that cooler, drier air. Ulaanbaatar here on Sunday is going to be looking actually at a high of 15, a low of 11. 11 out there as well as Tokyo is up to 26, 29 in Fukuoka, Seoul at 28. You see over towards Monday as well. We still have some relatively drier conditions on the backside of this, but you can see that rainfall working its way into the picture from the west. And by Tuesday, scattered showers starting to work their way in back across much of Korea and eventually back here into Japan. As far as Tokyo is concerned, from Sunday into Monday, still got those drier conditions. And then temperatures start to rebound with that next system pulling on through. Anyways, that's a quick update on Chansu as it moves over Japan. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, please let me know. And if you do like these updates, check out our Patreon down below and help support our channel. All right. As always, thanks for watching and stay safe out there. Bye.